I wanted to just say briefly uh, on behalf of the Regional Council that today uh, is really significant because of the importance of the freshwater resource to our region. What we have is not only what we see above ground, but it's also what we have below ground. And our most important water resources for our region, what sits in our Rui Tanifa and Hiritonga aquifer systems. We've got Sky Team Australia over here in Hawke's Bay working with us to scan aquifers across the Hiritonga, Rui Tanifa, Otani and Papanui basins over the next six weeks. We're embarking on a, a body of science and research that's going to provide us uh, with some alternative mechanisms uh, around managing that water resource. And all of the marae hapū really support what is going on here. The health of our rivers is vital to our, not only our ancestral past, but to our present day living. Our ability to use this technology is going to significantly enhance our understanding of groundwater beyond where we are today. We're going to end up with a 3D image, if you like, of our region's aquifers at some time in the future. This, this big piece of kit uh, measures the electrical properties of what's under the ground, down to 300 metres, and we know from those electrical properties what the, um, whether it's clay or gravels and, and other materials, and all of those materials determine how the groundwater flows, and that's what we're ultimately interested in. And this science is going to give us an unprecedented look below the surface and enable us to understand what water resources we have, uh, where the water flows to, and how we can take uh, more measures and make better use of that water, and also protect those uh, water resources from contaminants as well. It's a great historical moment for Hawke's Bay because we are finally going to be able to completely and scientifically understand our aquifers. This is cutting edge science, so this is new for the region, it's new for New Zealand. But, you know, this is going to gather information that we haven't been able to do before that's critical information to help inform our decision making. Farmers will be pleased to know that the council are working on new solutions and finding out exactly what the resource is below us and what we may be able to do in terms of growth with the water that we've already got. With over 10 years this catchment has been fully allocated and we have had no options for further growth based on water use. And that is what is so exciting about today, the planning for the future. This has been a long conversation as we've moved forward to this space, but congratulations for coming together, for understanding that without that cooperation, we cannot move forward together as a region. So I'd really like to thank the Provincial Growth Fund for their funding support, and our partners in this, which include GNS Science, and also our Sky Team from Australia who are delivering this alongside us, and also the other councils of the region that have collaborated with us, the Central Hawke's Bay District Council, Hastings District Council and Napier City, uh, who are jointly working with us on taking all this information forward and managing our fresh water for the best of our community.